there is no like you Parabahashi Karya Manahas the hand of God is glorious in power my life as you do oh I can search throughout if anything Lord and find there is no I want to show you 12 signs that you are under satanic manipulation. If you see any of these 12 signs in your life, any of these, you need deliverance. Number one, sign number one, a consistent pattern of losses and failure. A consistent pattern of losses and failure. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 22 a very interesting scripture a consistent pattern of losses and failure but this is a people robbed and plundered look at the state of these people they are robbed and they are plundered all of them are snared in holes and they are hidden in prison houses they are for prayer no one delivers for plunder and no one says restore consistent losses and failure he needs deliverance the bible says that you shall not build and another inhabit i think that's isaiah 65 verse 22 he says you shall not build and another in inhabit he says you shall not labor and another will bear it he says you shall eat your labor and the fruit of your hands right so, but when you are not able to eat that which you have labored for, when there are losses that are mysterious to you, I have even had the privilege of praying with people who money mysteriously gets missing physically. They put 10,000 in the wardrobe, especially in this, in this cashless period. Every thousand is important. Number two. Sign number two. Pessimism and resistance to change. Resistance to change. Pessimism and resistance to change. What is pessimism? Pessimism simply is having a negative view about life. Having a negative impression about the things happening around you. Or having a negative mindset when a person is pessimistic it means they are negative in their approach they don't see good they have no hope about things that will happen in fact most times their confession is always in negativity have you seen those kind of people before run away oh. that's broad daylight satanic attack you are watching mobile attack and sometimes it's because of the too many challenges around them when you find pessimism consistently in the life of an individual he's under satanic attack satanic manipulation he needs deliverance number three nervous breakdown nervous breakdown and you can add to this one affliction that is physical affliction too some sickness are actually satanic and demon oriented nervous breakdown psychological or emotional conditions either it is depression the person is suffering from depression the person is suffering from despair or the person is suffering from discouragement despair discouragement number four sign i'm rushing because of time lack of zeal for the things of the spirit lack of zeal for the sins of the spirit lack of zeal the Bible has instructed us in 1 Corinthians 15, 58. It says that we should be steadfast and unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Romans 12, 11 says, be not slothful in business, but fervent in spirit. In Proverbs, it says, be zealous for the Lord all day. When you find lack of zeal for spiritual things in a man's life, he's under satanic manipulation, a systematic one. In fact, well planned. Well planned. And you know, if he's a believer, he'll try to spiritualize the reason why he's there. 
That pastor is my work. You know, I go to work 8 to 5. Mondays to Fridays. Even on Saturday, I go to work. That's why you don't pray again. That's why you're no longer zealous. When was the last time you fasted? You are just, he's playing you like draft. Have you played draft or chess? Yeah, he's playing you to his court. Jesus told the church of Laodicea, he said, if you are neither hot nor cold, meaning if you are neither on fire for me or you are just cold, I mean, you, are, you don't have anything to do with Christianity, if you are lukewarm, he said, I will spew you out. You must be on fire always, at all times. Lack of zeal. Lack of zeal, and that's why they don't go to church. Hebrews 10, what did he say in verse 20, 24 to 25? I think in verse 25 he said that we should not forsake the gathering of the saints. When you no longer like spiritual atmospheres, you no longer you no longer like the gathering of God's people. Every time they say prayer, you are always doing like this, like golden moon. Brother, something's wrong. Something uh, yes. When you put golden moon in, in hot water, that's that's how. Something's wrong. Something's wrong with you. You were not like that before. You were on fire before. You were you, in, in the university. You were the leader of the prayer band. Now you came, you graduated. After you service, you got the job. Five years later, you are married. Who are you now? A potential unbeliever. When you see other people speaking in tongues, they say, hey, we were there. We were there before. You know, some people in school, they only follow God to pass exam. That's why they were in the fellowship. Pass exam and give me a good job. Now that they've gotten everything, say, God, we will see on the last day. May God not allow you to die in that state. Yes. Number five, prayerlessness. Prayerlessness. That's what I call spiritual shutdown or spiritual death. That is a sign that you are under satanic manipulation. That is a sign that you need deliverance prayerlessness the bible says that men ought always to pray and not to faint first thessalonians 5 18 say pray without ceasing there is no gift of prayer there is no uh, um, grace of prayer no 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 prayer is a discipline it is in the discipline that the grace of god is extended to you so the measure of the grace of god extended to you is is in, in paripasu or it is proportional to the level of discipline you give you discipline yourself to pray. Number what now? Number six, lack of love for people. Lack of love for people. You say, I may they just did their own, I will do my own. You are under satanic manipulation. John 13, 34 to 35, a new commandment I've given to you that you love one another. Say, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples. Not where you pray when you love you have love for one another love is the greatest sign of christ in you the devil will get you to hate people you possess your heart with hatred you possess your heart in such a way that you are not willing to forgive when people offend you and let me tell you the truth you don't love people because they deserve it love is unconditional you love because it's a command the Bible spoke about first John in first John chapter 3. The Bible spoke about the evil one, Cain. That Cain was a seed from the evil one. Why? Because he hated his brother. Lack of love for people is one of the signs. Number seven, loneliness. Loneliness. In other words, unwillingness to associate with other believers, other people unhealthy solitary confinement you just want to be alone you don't want to talk to anybody that's what i call depression in its advanced stage loneliness it can be a sign that you're under satanic manipulation number eight lack of kingdom mindedness you are not bothered about the things of god about church about the kingdom your life is not committed in any way to advancing the kingdom you are still debating tight up till now. Lack of kingdom mindedness. You can gang up with unbelievers in your office and betray a believer. No brotherhood. No kingdom mindedness. 
you know, believers, let's, let's tell ourselves the truth. Now we fight ourselves, pass. Yes, now we they fight ourselves, pass. These guys are more connected than us. They don't care their tribe as long as you hit this place to the ground. All of them will stand behind one man. That's why the man that you are chanting for, they say he didn't win. Abi? They said that he didn't win. Why? Because some of us in the church went behind and collected money. And people should not blame only the INEC chairman. Who. There are some people there in the system too that collected. And this year, may God punish anyone. Barakata <laughs> Balasika Yaman. You may not like me, but this is the truth. This, this is a year of judgment. I told you since last year. Last year I told you that this year will be a year of shakings and judgment. Anyone that has sold himself to corruption and evil and is a perpetrator, a conspirator to the reason why Nigeria is like this, this year, may God judge them. You sell, you sell your people. You betray. Don't blow. No kingdom mindedness. What did he say in Peter? He said, honor God. Love the brotherhood. And fear the king. You come to an office. Some of you, the people that are fighting in your office, they are waiting with their name. Christian. Michael. Peter. Abby. Peter. At least Peter denied Jesus. He didn't fight Jesus. This is what I Number nine, hard labor, yet little or no result. Hard labor, yet little or no result. I read that scripture for you, Isaiah 65, verse 22 to 23. It says, they shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree, so shall be the days of my people. And my elect shall enjoy the work of their hands. Verse 23, they shall not labor in vain. But there are people who are laboring in vain. Yes or no? You have been building one house for 10 years. What kind of house is that? Are you building underground? Even if you are building underground, have you not finished by now? No car you buy can stay for at least one month without problem. Labor in vain. You invested here, it went down. You invested here, it went down. Now, this one that you invested, you are already hearing news. Hard labor. Hard labor. Let's finish up. Number 10. Consistent nightmares and wrong illusions. Consistent nightmares and wrong illusions. <laughs> Don't call it a dream. Oh. It is what is happening in the spirit realm. It is not just a dream. It is a reality playing out from another dimension. Nightmares. Number 11. A lifestyle of sin and iniquity. A lifestyle of sin and iniquity. <laughs> the life of sin is a life of perpetual captivity and reproach. Righteousness exalts a nation, scripture says, but sin is a reproach to any people. Sin. When I say sin, don't think, don't just think immorality and all of that alone. No, 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 not only that. Oh, Miley's, Miley's, as cheap as Miley's is. Miley's. You find it hard to forgive. A small offense and you hold it in your heart. Your church people. You are no longer a member of the church again. Say your church people. Say me, I don't like waiting that they do there. Oh, ah. But you used to go there. I hope I'm talking to somebody this night. I'm not, I'm not condemning you. This is your, it's your day of salvation. Sin. As cheap as mile is. How about anger? How about bitterness? Bitterness. See, I don't know. My spirit not agree with that. Anytime I say, I'm... I'm, 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 I'm they put all of you in the same Bible studies group or in the same house fellowship. Say, choose another one for me. Choose another one. Abba. 
a believer in the same church. You are under satanic, serious, systematic satanic manipulation. In fact, this one is wireless remote, wireless control, wireless microphone system. Satan doesn't need to be around you again. He has your remote somewhere else. He just needs to press, press it. So yeah. You came to church that Sunday. They gave you gave offering and danced with everybody, giving glory to the Lord. Hey, you went outside just because somebody refused to give you something or refused to greet you. You remove your your hair tie, tie it. Say, Pastor, we'll drop church here. We'll drop church here. I've seen it though. Hey, hey. I've even seen the one that pastors will drop Bible and throw blue. I mean, real, <laughs> real blue. That the other one will have to dodge. Real one. Say, I'll beat you here and go inside and preach. And they have scriptures, you know. They will tell you that Jesus flogged people. Jesus beat people. You see, when you begin to look for, you, when you see a person looking for scriptures to justify that sin, that's a life of sin. You need to repent. You are in a red zone. At that point, you are you are easily manipulatable by the enemy. Sin. How about a man of God that comes to church and preaches hard, but at home he's slapping his wife? beating his wife those who allow her to talk shut up ah let me save one single lady now you have not married him but he's already, already doing that take off my hand no day no i'm talking to somebody now here i'm talking to somebody here and now he's already doing that don't stand up and go see remain there let me talk to you this, this is you want you are coming for the will of god you are hearing it now you say, eh, but I love him. Keep quiet. What do you know? Do you truly love that kind of a person? See. And finally, delay. First Thessalonians 2, verse 18. Paul said, I long to come to you, even I, Paul, once and again. He said, well, what? But Satan in that does brothers and sisters many times delay is induced by the enemy in fact god told me when i come today that there are two things we must handle delay and losses are you ready to pray the bible says you know the grace of our lord jesus that though he was rich yet for your sake he became poor that through his poverty you become rich and you are still poor he died so that you live sickness is killing you But if you are ready to arise today, it says, But thus says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty will be taken, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him. Stand up on your feet. We are going to ad address certain things in our lives today. At least when you live here this night, you will know that there is a shift in the spirit realm. At least you will know that something has broken loose over you. Wherever you are standing or sitting, can you lift your voice and just pray in the spirit? Just pray in the spirit for two minutes. Just, just, just pray in other tongues. Aggressive.